welcome back to my channel everybody i hope everybody is doing well i am doing good today today i have on one of my blu-ray blockers glass because i've been doing some computer work from morning but i'm here today because i was scrolling through my phone and i saw this but before we actually get into the video please like share comment and subscribe to my channel and as i always say tell somebody let me go to say tell somebody tell somebody tell someone to share and then other persons will do the same so tell somebody to tell somebody about my video so let's get right into the video I might have to take off this because it's reflecting the bin bin i want you guys to see me <laughs> I saw this and when I saw it I said oh I might have to put my thoughts to this reason being because I was in one of our juicy parties franchise the I think it was the yeah the other day let's just, let, let, let's just say the other day because it might be a case where this video don't go up until whenever and when I was in the line, they, that, um, there was this gentleman looking at me and I was like, oh shit, this feels weird. The man, so I walked in and joined the line and when I looked down on my phone and I look up, the gentleman, the gentleman's eye and mind made four, right? Contact. And I'm like, this feels weird because when I was walking in, he was looking directly at me as well. And in my head, I'm like, do I know this person? Is it a case where this person knows me? Do I say hi? Do I not say hi? Because I don't recognize the face. So the when I was in the line, the person still going up to the cashier and still looking behind and looking at me. So I'm like, I start, you know, I start assess the thing. Um, I'm not going to come out a year until I'm not going to walk out of the juicy pot place until um, this man gone. I'm not going to go nothing until I'm not, I'm not make him see nothing go on. Anyways, when I was there, listen, I have my phone, but I still have watch him. So I'm not to look on him, let him see some I look on him, but I watch him. And him come after he purchased what he had to, and him come down in the line, him stop and say, um, I think you're missing something. So me now think my watch gone, my shoes bottom gone, something of the sword. This man said to me that I'm missing a ring on my finger. And I'm like, what? Missing a ring? No, I'm not. It gave me one and two things and I could have been married and I'm not wearing my ring. Or I'm not ready to get married. So when I saw this, I was like yeah so the story is that a 21 year, year year old young lady has a 24 year old boyfriend according to the boyfriend he wants to get married to the young lady because he is not one of those run up and down type for persons who are not Jamaican he is I would have heard a mono when you when you only want to be with one person I don't remember the word when my child look for now monogamy yes I, I, something like that anyways he, do, he wants to be with her she alone he wants to be with her and she only um so she's being burdened to get married to him so basically her her Brothers and mommy and daddy saying no, it's too young for you to get married, and that you want to become a lawyer, so you need to pursue pursue your 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 degree in law before you start thinking about stuff like this. Bear in mind, she still lives with her mommy. Um, the young man that was said in the article that he lives on his own, right? Um, basically from the get-go from the girl after ask advice to the star she stress i just that me have to say once you have a question what you do you stress 
you're not supposed to do it and then that's just my opinion if you have to question it and you have to ask several people a public platform for advice you're stressed don't do it so me again one next advice despite say the star i give advice don't do it if you're there for writing to the star don't do it so according to the the 24 year the the guy is that again is one such male who prefers to be and want to be in a in a in a one woman relationship jamaican that's a one woman relationship so the young ladies writing to the star as me say as me say if you have read to the star don't do it um she's stressed her parents telling her no she wants to become a lawyer you need to focus on that now here the sweet part of the story my guy when he wants to have um sex he lives by himself you know him take the young lady to some like a motel so why is it that this young lady if you say you want to get married to her um why is it that you can't take her to your home if you live by yourself so take her to a motel one time she got a motel now one girl see her and like the girl say um nika how are you do you so and she was so she said that she was embarrassed but the young man which is her boyfriend say the girl for mine her own business so from my thing why the lady or the girl said to you so where you do you so i would like to think that the stigma that they have to motels she would she now want to associate the stigma that they have with motels to the young lady that she saw there and the stigma is that when you take a girl to a motel she's either you're either married and you have a side chick or is a night girl who is a prostitute and i have nothing against prostitution you do what you do to make your money that's your business right so for me that was the thing me going at a motel chilling with nika if somebody see me they might go say nika where you doing so because the association of a motel anyways so whenever he wants sex then the motel is the venue and she have only gone to his yard or his house um during the course of the well only meet up with him during the course of the day because as me say if they're supposed to have sexual intercourse he might carry her to a motel so she's been she's been burdened no the girl find out say him like one one like one next girl so him asks she asks him do you like the next girl him say yes um so my girl now stress out now you know so she had things say yeah me really have to get married to him okay if me get married to him him not gonna left me and whatever whatever so happens that the girl that the, the man her boyfriend likes must have come over the yard and he might tell her about the story and i said oh the girl supposedly forced him to have sex then young then all the men that watch my video in the comment if i'm if a woman forced you to have sex don't you think you need to report that she forced you to have sex although it feel away for some men still actually report say a woman forced them to have sex no don't you think so no that pushing her some more to say that um I watch somebody sorry um i push her now to say yes i really need to get married Psh, really young lady i like but we should have go off the head this young man tell her say him only want you he want to get married to you because him only want you at the end of the day him might tell us one girl force him to have sex so who invited the girl over to the, uh, the house did she like come and break in and i'm not getting that right did she just come and break me, me not get like me, me if i think around what she just what i just read right so my take is that this young man won't get married because he won't have all time, every time access to having sex with this young lady. 
Meanwhile, it might take the young lady for fool because you tell me, say you married me because you want to be in a monogamy. I try to think about the word. A mon mon monogamous. I saw what. <laughs> you want to be in a one woman relationship. But at the same time, you tell me, say, girl, come over your yard. Girl, force if you have sex. But remember, you know, you had said to her that you like the girl. So if you like the girl, how is it that she forced it to have sex? That means you're the kind I really want to taste one day. Number two, why is it? And I'm talking to the young lady who registered her. Why is it that you think say you never got the money? Yeah, you only got the motel. Psh, like Bob, should I go up in the end? You are 21. You have so much life to live. You have... You, go and go do your degree in law. Please and thank you. If it's so... It, if it supposedly work out that God bring you back to this young man, then you can kick it off. But you have men out there, let me say that, who will wait on you to be ready to get married. Because marriage is a full-blown commitment. I'm not ask Christ. It's a full-blown commitment. And that's not only a commitment to the person that you're getting married to, that's a commitment to God himself. And as far as me, me you know, God not like me in divorce. And we have that so much in our generation. Divorce, break up, split up. Gone your ways, gone my ways. So if you're going to be with this guy, you're going to marry this guy based off. Because from what I'm seeing, the young man are basically six. From where I get at. So if the relationship and the marriage are going to be based only on sex, then you're going to run in problems after. And you're going to probably find yourself pregnant at home and came for the study. So why not get your studies first? And I'm not saying, don't get me wrong, because I have had friends who um, during college had their kid before college and, their, and now they have their, um, their degree and their master's. But a lot of persons, if you ask them if um should have should they ever had kids before college depending on the circumstances or before i'm um, graduating from high school they would have tell you no they would have waited so wait to the person them out there with things i'm missing i ring me not missing nothing because if i want to get married i would have well none in love pan the real that say i don't favor three monster and i have great personality I can safely say that persons who know me know that I am a very generous. Uh, I have a great personality. I am a determined young lady, and I fa I'm a, I'm a lioness. Per se, I, I am protective of persons who mean the world to me, and I am determined to hunt anything when it comes down to my family and friends who I really love. So I'm that type of person. So, young lady, if you are not ready to get married, there's so much young nice man that are at the college where you got to decide for go go do your law degree. And there's so much young man that them same young man that will wait to get married to you. And wait together for you guys to get married. And you are 21. Get your life together. Because marriage is a full-blown commitment. But that's my little take. You guys can probably search for the article and read a little bit more on it. Oh, and the young lady going to say that everything that she want from her father and her brothers, she get it. So she not shot her nothing. Well, if you want to the boyfriend, but you know if you get married. Enjoy your life. You're 21. Right? You don't have to commit to a thing. You're 21. You should be dating. Finding out the red flags. Um, finding out what you like and what you dislike. Right? And for the persons, again, who thinks I'm missing a ring, if I wanted to get married, I would have. I work on me and I'm more continue, I will continue to work on me. Because from the get-go, as much as you want to carry some, some baggage you're going to have to go in a relationship, you don't really want to carry too much baggage and go switch out the people in the son. Especially if the mother have him good up, good up, good up, good up, son. Go stress him out. But thank you guys so much for watching. That's all that I have to say today. <laughs> Guys, remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. As usual, when me not care, me I set me coming to turn on the AC. I me mean, I say why, why I me mean, not do that? But thank you guys so much for watching, and go and have a blessed day.